welcome Taurus we're doing an energy reading for you today it is a general reading so is trust yourself what resonates leave what does not big welcome to those that are brand new to my channel those that follow me regularly love your support if you do enjoy my readings make sure to subscribe to my channel show the love hit that like button and the notification bell to get notified when your next star sign readings up on my channel you still have a chance to go into the October competition draw there's two personal readings up for grabs First one will be going to a new subscriber on my channel during the month of October. Nothing you need to do. You'll automatically go in the draw. The other personal reading up for grabs will go to a very positive community member that stands out during the month. So just show up as your beautiful selves. You'll automatically go in the draw. Winners announced in the first week of November. Make sure to come back and see if you are a winner. It's announced on the community tab on my channel as well as in your star sign video so you'll be winning a one hour pre-recorded personal reading with me where i meditate on your energy check your akashic record your past life information answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle the very holistic mix of psychic guidance mindset coaching help you move through any stuck states that come up during the reading as well as have a look at your energy meridian chakra balances i'm an energy healer so you the works darlings ah uh -huh. so good luck everyone my personal readings are open if you do want to book a personal reading with me link is on here and down below let's dive in so first up Taurus we're going to have a look at an aspect of self that possibly you want to do some work on pay attention to oh just one hiding underneath it kind of stuck to it You've pulled moderation. Now, if you have a look at that, there's two beautiful hummingbirds by her. Now, honey, uh, hummingbirds, if I can say that correctly, um, they their wings flap at an incredible amount of speed, right, for the size of their bodies. They can also uh, fly in really high altitudes. So Spirit's asking for you to be mindful of, dare I say, how much you flap in your wings, darling, and overdoing it. So doing everything in moderation, not all this kind of like all or nothing kind of thinking mm -hmm. which means that there needs to be some balance around your energy let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you and uh, then we'll pull lots of clarifiers we guide it's for taurus thank you all right spirit is saying any challenges that happen in your life you need to see the truth in any storm right so versus being reactive to it what is it trying to show you and tell you often there's something in our life we need to change uh something that we kind of need to sort out it could be putting healthy boundaries in place with people all sorts of things it's also a message you need to take some time out and pleasure connect with nature connect with life joy yourself Oh, it's a time of brand new beginnings for you. So a new life chapter. You've, it's a new life chapter full of abundance, darlings. Very abundant month, time and period right now. Mm -hmm. Really tapping into your abundance flows. All right, let's have a look at your spiritual guidance. Mm, that wants to flip. Well, you've got the Moonstone Star, which is you entering a period of euphoric love. Oh, looking rather passionate there, darlings. Mm, you've also got the Mirror, which is you doing some self-reflection. So often we're exploring our shadow side, but mostly for you, Taurus, is loving and appreciating all parts of self. Mm, part of your new beginnings is loving yourself more. Mm. And you got the sun goddess, which is all about lift off. So free from any constraints, the ability to do anything you want, feeling energized. You've pulled the medicine woman, which is all about healing and nourishing and nurturing self. Uh, it could certainly be the physical body. So diet, nutrition, some of you going through an injury or illness. Mm-hmm. It can be holistically taking better care of self, health and wellness. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the energy oracle. Let's have a look at you seeing truth in storms and entering a period of euphoric love, which is kind of at odds to each other. Okay. It's really saying you need to trust your intuition more. Stop second-guessing things. 
See people as they're showing up in your life, not how you want them to be, but how they're actually showing up. Oh, you've got so many doors you can open, so many opportunities. So don't limit yourself. Mm, there's also a focus on your sense of security and stability. You've got the root chakra there. Let's have a look at you taking time out and pleasure. Hmm. Some of you feel like you don't have time to do it. It's a day like here. You're going like, I don't have time. Spirit's saying you need to. Some of you may be feeling a state of lack within self. Things that aren't in your life right now. You've got blossoming abundance. So you do have money coming in, possibly slower than what you were hoping. Hmm. Yeah. Spirit's saying you just need to live in the present moment. Stop future pacing yourself so much. Projecting fear and worry into the future. Mm -hmm. It's really about loving, appreciating self, living in the present moment. There's definitely a need for you to boost up your life force energy. This is your solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this envy or lack going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. For some of you, it's related to the heart chakra. So this is an old wound. So this is a releasing of a relationship previously. It could be of six, 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. You're just feeling a state of lack about not having someone in your life. So possibly feeling a bit lonely. And on top of that, here comes a love interest. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, this can represent you feeling ready for love. There's definitely a love interest here. Let's have a look at your new beginnings. We're saying you've got to love yourself more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and speak your truth. Some of you definitely need to open up that throat chakra. Express yourself more. Communicate better. Yeah, you, there are things you need to walk away from. I'm going to say, darling, it's mostly around how you feel about yourself. Watch the negative self-talk because you are not what you tell yourself that you are, right? That's just an opinion. Mm -hmm. Particularly if it's a negative opinion. It's just an opinion. So it's time to walk away from anything that's held you back, negative thinking, things you've been saying to yourself. Got a brand new fresh start that wants to happen for you. Mm. You got a woman holding a coin here. So girls, there is financial security and stability here. You can be abundant. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at uh, lift off here, which is you feeling good. Oh, this makes a lot of sense. All right, here's your guidance from spirit. You've got the temple path. Some of you definitely exploring your spiritual side, possibly going through a spiritual awakening. That would be great to lift your energy. Mm -hmm. It's come out hand in hand with the door to personal healing and happiness opening. So some of you really need to focus on health and wellness right now. Mm, there's some anxiety going on around that. And Spirit's saying it's just a state of mind. The sun is going to come out. There are going to be big happy changes in your life. If you've been going through something that's either an injury or an illness and feeling like you're not, you know, is it going to keep persisting? Spirit's saying it's just a matter of time. It will resolve. Let's have a look at your abundance here. Mm. Some of you feeling all tied up and stuck about money. I'm going to say, darlings, again, it's negative thought process that's going on because Spirit is saying it's just a matter of timing. You just have to have patience and that your daughter money is going to open. There is going to be more money coming into your life. So when we're in a state of lack, we just delay what wants to come to us by our energy and vibration. It's almost like an instant block, right? You've just blocked it. It's sitting there, it wants to come in, but you're blocking it by what you're saying to yourself. Uh, I have done, if that resonates, I have done a little ebook and masterclass on how to boost your manifesting powers. It explains why we have those feelings, it can be deeply rooted, particularly scarcity consciousness and lack, and how to move through out of that state and into a more abundant mindset so that you can attract what you want. Yeah, it's just your emotions playing out, darlings, your emotional waters. So, one of the key things to life, if you want to live, a life where you're in a state of peace and inner peace and you know how to constantly cultivate that and bring yourself back to that state, no matter what's swirling around you, 
is that we've really got to learn how to manage our emotional states, right? And our mental states, what we're saying to ourselves. All right, let's have a look at the medicine woman here, which is you nurturing and nourishing your mind, body, and soul. Mm. Why, Taurus? Why? Why are they still here? There is a hostile energy that will not leave you be. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm out reading after reading. Ah, Spirit saying you ought to trust your intuition on who that is. You know who it is. Mm, guys, you've got a message to be thinking, man. Be very practical when it comes to that energy. Mm. Some of you, it's definitely an ex that just won't quit. We've had so many discussions about how to handle it. So how are you going to handle it? With this, the throat chakra. Mm -hmm. Which is setting healthy boundaries. Some of you need to desensitize yourself to that person's energy so it no longer affects you. How do we do that? Well, don't get engaged with their feelings. Don't be thinking about them. You just think about you. Being completely selfish and think about you. Because often what can when someone's like that, we can be constantly worrying about what they're thinking and feeling. It's not your problem, that's their problem. They're in a funk and they're hostile constantly. That's their problem, their feelings for them to deal with. Right? You just keep in your own lane. You have this beautiful care and connection in your life or coming in. Mm -hmm. And Spirit's saying you regularly need to get some rest and relaxation. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, goddess guidance deck. Having a look at this top row, where Spirit's saying you need to see the truth in storms. You're entering a period of euphoric love. So many doors are going to open for you in that regard if you're single. And there is a focus on your finances and your sense of security and stability. Yeah, Spirit's saying you regularly need to get yourself outside just to clear any stress, balance yourself. <laughs> Spirit is so funny, darling, so funny. <laughs> you ready? Oh, you have to put healthy boundaries in place with people. Some of you, it's a lesson that you really need to learn how to do it. So if your boundaries were constantly stepped over when you were growing up, it can be incredibly difficult to put boundaries in place with people, right? You've got to learn how to do it. It takes a bit of practice. And you can be intensely fearful of putting a healthy boundary in place particularly if you grew up with people that constantly stepped over them, didn't matter what you said or did, right? Mm -hmm. I've also done an ebook and masterclass. There's one, if you want to check out, there's two different ones that will help you with this. There's one on personal empowerment, certainly covers healthy boundaries. There's another one on inner child healing, which explains why we have weak boundaries, how they're created, why we have intense fears around putting boundaries in place. I'll link them in here for you. Yeah, you got Carly endings and beginnings. Darling, you got to shut this down. Mm -hmm. Shut it down so you can live a life of peace. <laughs> Old must be released so then you can enter. Some of you really got to close that out, that cycle out with that person. And do your spiritual practices. Absolutely going to boost you up. Let's have a look at you taking time out and pleasure. Some of you definitely gone through a relationship breakup and spirit saying there's new love here. You definitely need to boost up your energy. Yes, you've got a bright future here, Lakshmi. There's nothing you need to worry about. Everything's lining up for you. OMG. <laughs> uh, you've pulled now abundance twice in your reading. It's coming out hand in hand with a golden opportunity. It's going to bring a lot more money into your life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, this is directly related to your new beginnings. You loving yourself more. Things you need to walk away from and close the door on. you got Sedna Infinite Supply. It's like a guarantee from the universe that when it comes to your money, things are going to absolutely look up. It's also around your emotional waters. So protection over you. Yeah, whatever you're, gonna, whatever you're going through is going to be handled in a fair and just manner. So there's a lot of balance coming into your world. Things righting themselves. Mm, yeah, here it is. The elephant in the room, darlings, the undying love, the person you've left behind. Whether you left them, they left you. 
So we're saying you didn't waste your time in that connection, but it's time to move on and, and have joy and happiness in your life. Let's have a look at this side where there's so much here about your daughter, your money is definitely going to open for you. It's just going to take a little bit of time. You've got to really manage those emotions of yours. Focus on healing your physical body, your emotional body. There's a gorgeous love here. Now, some of you have energy healing abilities, confirmation of that. Mm. Spirit's saying, please treat yourself with kindness and compassion. Don't say others, but no, just you, Taurus, just you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got your Aphrodite energy. There is absolutely a need for you to do some self-care activities. And there's no need to force or rush anything. Just take your time. What's in the center of your reading? Moderation. Mm -hmm. All right, so please guidance from the crystal healing deck. Oh, your ancestors are absolutely watching over you right now, protecting you. You may get some subliminal messages in your dreams, certainly related to an opportunity. Possibly an inkling of what you might want to do if you want to change paths. You've got a lot of ancient wisdom within you brought into this lifetime from another lifetime. Some of you are just starting to tap into that. Yeah, oh my God, third message, you need to let go of this person, this energy. It's time for you to have new beginnings. So I know we've talked about this before. I feel like a broken record, darlings, when it comes to it. Some of you have still not sorted the situation out, which is why it keeps coming up. So if you have to hand children over, some of you absolutely need to get a mediator in the middle of that so you're not subjected to that person's energy, right? You need to stop actually dealing with that person. There are ways to do that through family services, through a grandparent. One drops them off, the other one picks them up, right? Uh, their energy is toxic for you right now. You got a message that meditation would be really good for you. Now, this is really helpful to clear your energy without having to do a lot in terms of effort. I'll link in the guided meditation playlist on my channel. There's about 105 in there now, 110. Uh, for you, do some to do with that. There's some sound baths in there, which would be great for your heart chakra. They're right at the top of the list. The free, it's a free playlist, darlings, and do any that soothe your energy. Yeah, just lay down and listen. That's all you got to do. If you fall asleep, they'll still work. They, you know, when we do music therapy, it works right down to cellular level. I go once a week to a sound therapy class. If you ever hold a sound therapy class and regularly attend a sound therapy class, it's just amazing. Mm. All right, let's put some guidance from the messenger oracle. Oh, you got a message to show you that you care. It's kind of interesting. So it's related to you putting healthy boundaries in place with someone. God, I have to say I'm not sure they deserve your energy, to be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do I want to say about that? Not a lot, really. I'm going to leave that one up with you guys. You can figure that one out. Oh, you've got a message to honour Gaia, doing your part to protect Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Some of you, that might be a passionate cause of yours. And we are all connected. Some of you definitely going through a bit of a spiritual awakening and starting to know who you're connected to in the spirit realm. Mm. Some of you do need to do a bit of an emotional release. It's almost like a pressure cooker going off. It's just going to give you that aha, fresh feeling of releasing from emotional stress. And to embrace the feminine, whether you're a guy or a girl, which is not allowing people to trigger you into your masculine energy, you're wanting to fight and flight mode. Uh, it's you just going with the flow, leaving, living a peaceful life in flow. It's also your creative side. Oh, there's definitely a new love here. That mm, you become one, allowing someone to be close to you and for you to know your power. Right, so stepping into your personal power, you've got the horse there. Do you allow others to ride on your back and tell you what to do? You take the reins of your own life. Mm -hmm. 
it's kind of interesting it kind of feels like whatever this dynamic is and it's not going to affect all of you it's definitely related to those of you that have gone through a divorce or separation where an ex will seriously just not let you be mm -hmm. it kind of feels like there's children involved is that uh what did i want to say there about knowing your power uh they could have been very if that was someone that was very controlling in the love relationship that you had with each other They'll be intensely feeling a lack of control because they can no longer control you, but they're still trying to control you, even if they're trying to control you through children, right? The children you have together. What does that look like? It looks like dysfunctional behavior. Mm -hmm. All right, these are your messages from your, from your animal spirit. You've got the uh, B here, which is representing sweet results await you, particularly when it comes to money. Number seven. Now, it can also relate to health and well-being because number seven is related to healing. Mm, you got the hummingbird spirit. Absolutely big message for you to live in the present moment. It's come through twice in your reading. And you've got the whale spirit. It says life's a great mystery, so you cannot control life. Be open to new experiences, possibilities, go with the flow. And you've got the wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. There was a life lesson in there for you. Mostly it's about you speaking up, speaking your truth and knowing how to put healthy boundaries in place with people. It could also be about making better choices in love partners, darlings. Yes. <laughs> All right, those are your messages. Love to hear how this reading resonated for you. Let me know. Do reach out for a personal reading if you need extra guidance and support. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.